Hi everyone, welcome to Water Goddess Tarot. So the topic for today consists of you receiving messages from your spirit baby. Now I have kept this reading very open. I mean your spirit baby can give you information or insight into kind of any area of your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be your love life but in the end I will kind of give you five channeled messages from your spirit baby and that is going to come from the deck that has been created by me. All right. So you can see three images on the screen. I will show you the close ups as well. This is file number one. This is file number two. And this is file number three. You can pause the video, take your time and Choose your pile intuitively, all right? So meanwhile, let's just begin with pile number one. Hi, pile number one, welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out what messages your spirit baby or babies have for you, okay? So these are the channeled messages that we are going to take in the end, okay? We have Three of Pentacles upright, Ace of Cups upright, Dream Journal and this is a good time to go on a new adventure. Your spirit baby wants you to know that there is somebody that you work with that you're crushing on, okay? or there is somebody that you're crushing on and you met this person via work, okay? For a lot of you, you see this person quite often because this person is in your workplace, they are in your energy field. You might have had some kind of disagreements with this person because the person that you're dealing with or the person you had in your mind, if at all you did, before clicking on this reading, is somebody who is very opinionated, okay? They are very vocal when it comes to them putting forth their points. The person that you're dealing with is very expressive in terms of their intelligence, okay? Right now, I'm just looking at your reading from work's perspective. So this person is very intelligent, very logical, very practical, yet very sensitive at the same time. So they have two sides to them. Okay. Now, there are very high chances that you are going to receive some kind of hint or this person is going to express their feelings to you or you are going to kind of express your feelings to them because i think a lot of mirroring is happening in your connection whatever feelings you have for this person this person has the same feelings for you but there is some kind of hesitancy between the two of you where you're not comfortable in being the one who is going to kind of initiate this or wants to take the lead for that matter. Nobody wants to do the work. You both want to eat the cake, but nobody wants to bake it. All right. But within a month from now, a lot is going to change in this connection. No matter how hard you try to control yourself, there is going to be some kind of declaration of love from both the sides okay you both won't be able to kind of hold yourselves back any longer and it is going to happen it might happen while you are arguing for that matter okay i don't know why i got this message but this is going to hit home at least for somebody that you might unintentionally just express your feelings while you are having an argument or while you are just debating about something or you're discussing something because there is love there is a lot of love in this connection and 
for my viewer this person has been in your dreams okay this person has constantly been in your dreams this could be you daydreaming about them or you actually seeing them in your dreams okay so if at all you fall in this category know that this is your person okay you've chosen the right pile for yourself now what your spirit baby wants you to know over here is that a there is love and that is from both the sides so if you are at all questioning or fearing rejection then you shouldn't it's just a figment of your imagination there is no rejection that is going to happen for you because the feelings are mutual point number two is that your person might have a tattoo i don't know i just got this message your person might have a tattoo somewhere around their wrist okay somewhere around their wrist i do see this person having a tattoo all right okay now coming back yeah to the message so your spirit baby wants you to kind of maintain a dream journal and jot down all your dreams because there are very high chances that your person whosoever you're watching this reading for is just visiting you in your dreams and whatever you are experiencing in your dreams is for real okay i mean whatever you guys are doing in your dreams your person feels exactly the same because for a lot of you i feel your dreams are 18 plus for a lot of you there's a lot of passion there's a lot of longing and it is mutual so why you're being asked to kind of write down your dreams is because you're going to get clarity and also because indirectly it is going to help you in manifesting your dream life to reality okay so maintain a dream journal because you're going to get a lot of additional messages also the way you both are not able to communicate in the 3d you are communicating in your dream state so that communication is very important because it's not just passion there is a lot of depth also and that depth is kind of getting revealed to you in your dream state so it is important for you to write down whatever you remember out of your dream even if you don't see this person's face write down your dream and read it after a month there will be something that you're going to kind of gain out of that dream that is going to be very helpful especially when it comes to your love life now your spirit baby also wants you to know that you are ready for an adventure this adventure can literally be you both traveling together you both going on a vacation because there are chances that you know when things kind of escalate you would want to spend quality time together okay because there's a lot of longing again and again i'm getting this message that either you are missing this person a lot i mean you both are because this mirroring thing is very evident in your reading so both of you are missing each other a lot it is very difficult for you to spend time apart because you really want to be together so there are very high chances that you might go on a vacation together or there are very high chances for you both to kind of start afresh okay start this journey once again i don't know why once again maybe this person has been a bit hot and cold with you or you have been hot and cold with them and and you both don't know as to where you stand with each other see there's a lot of resistance but there is a lot of pull towards each other you both are holding yourself back all right so your spirit baby is kind of asking you to give this person and this connection the benefit of the doubt and just take that leap of faith and start this adventurous journey because you're going to have a lot of fun you're going to enjoy a lot and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness 
okay now let's just get into the channeled messages so for the channeled messages we have we have a Virgo baby your first one so your first baby is going to be a Virgo baby then we have I chose you as my parent because we have a soul contract to complete okay then we have within two years I will be yours mama daddy okay so now here your baby wants to say that your person's past wasn't very pleasant healing is taking place I'm watching everything and guiding the two of you please be patient with each other okay so this clearly tells that your person is healing and I feel very strongly that even you are healing right now all right and you both are scared to fall in love you both are scared to kind of get hurt again you both feel that you both are not ready and that is why your baby is kind of asking you to be patient with the person whosoever you're watching this reading for because there is love but the past experiences have been so unpleasant that it is very difficult for you both to kind of trust each other there are trust issues in this connection and i'm using you both because i feel that your stories are very similar okay if even if you don't even if you don't know anything about your person's past i think whenever you're going to have a conversation a deep conversation with each other you will kind of realize that you both have been through similar experiences okay now the last message that I have for you from your spirit baby is that the person on your mind is the one for you. Yay. All right. So now if at all you were or you have been in two minds that is this my person? Is this my soulmate? I don't know why did I get the word soulmate? So any which way, whatever label you want to give, you don't want to give any label. That's also fine with me. But I just got an intuitive nudge to kind of tell you that you're dealing with your soulmate and your baby too is here to tell you that the person on your mind is the one for you stop questioning stop fighting this connection stop running away from this person because you two are meant to be all right so with this we come to the end of your reading if you liked your reading pile number one please like share comment subscribe Turn the notification bell on so that whenever I post next, you get notified. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that via Instagram and email. The details for both is in my description box below. I'll catch up with you in the next reading. See ya. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out as to what does your spirit baby or spirit babies want to say to you right now. I will take these channeled messages later. So for you, we have Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, Rest, and Honeybee that says, let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. There are very high chances that you are water dominant, okay? You have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your major placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for that matter. What your spirit baby wants to say to you right now is that you are somebody who is very emotionally mature, okay? And you are very very intuitive you are an empath you are sensitive for some people you are oversensitive you have psychic gifts okay and your spirit baby wants you to use your psychic gifts to use your intuition to your advantage when it comes to this connection you are being intuitively guided listen to your intuition you don't need to ask 10 people as to what's happening what is going to happen 
you are already being guided it's just that you are scared to trust your own intuition or maybe you are feeling way too emotional at this point of time that you feel that you know what i don't know if i am in the zone to kind of understand the messages that i'm getting okay but your spirit baby wants to tell you that whatever you've been feeling intuitively in regards to this person in regards to this connection is on point trust that if you feel this person is missing you yes they are if you feel this person is your divine counterpart they are if you feel that they are going to come forward and they are going to be the ones who are going to take the lead and propose you trust that i mean whatever you're feeling it is something that is happening for real your spirit baby wants to tell you that you are a healer okay i don't know maybe a lot of healers have chosen this pile you are a natural healer pile number 2 and what happens is that you are so giving you're so caring you're always kind of pouring into other people's cup that by the end of the day you start to feel depleted and that is because you're not caring for yourself helping others is a very good thing but putting your self care at the stake of helping people is something that is not going to solve your purpose because for you to be capable enough to help people you got to be healthy mentally physically emotionally and spiritually so your spirit baby is kind of wanting you to be tender with yourself the way you take care of others the way you love others your spirit baby wants you to kind of love yourself the way you would love your person you would love a lover okay your spirit baby also wants you to kind of pamper yourself go out have fun buy something for yourself just celebrate life maybe you've been overworking or you've been too busy in the hustle and bustle and completing your tasks being in your masculine energy and stuff like that but now your spirit baby wants you to kind of embrace your feminine energy and sleep take rest sleeping for you is very very important especially if you are a channeler if you are a healer if you use tarot or you kind of channel messages in general i mean whatever you do even if you're not a professional healer you need sleep you need sleep more than an average person especially if you're a pisces okay or there are lots of water signs who are going to choose this pile i don't know why but you need more sleep you get tired easily okay you're very emotionally driven pile number 2 it is your strength and it is your weakness at the same time so there has to be this balance that you got to create if you want to keep going in life so your spirit baby right now want you to be very very gentle with yourself how would you treat a baby your spirit baby is saying how would you treat me just treat yourself exactly in the same manner be gentle with yourself don't push yourself so much to kind of achieving doing way too much just being in your power all the time there is a need for you to kind of just relax just be in your own energy do whatever you feel like doing sleep as much as you want rest as much as you want your spirit baby also wants you to kind of include more fruits in your diet and more water okay and your spirit baby wants you to know that you should play more with colors especially blue red and pink 
and you can green also for that matter but your spirit baby wants you to add more color to your life in terms of clothing in terms to your food choices in terms of how your plate looks when you're about to eat your meals your spirit baby really wants you to just invest your time energy and effort in yourself at this point of time because you are your biggest and your best investment and you're very loving you're very caring you're very nurturing your spirit baby wants you to know that whosoever enters your life or whosoever gets your love is going to be the luckiest person on this planet because your love is pure because your love is so mothering it is so nurturing your spirit baby your spirit baby really wants to kind of come and give you a big tight hug because maybe for some of you you feel that you have not been lucky in love maybe you feel that you deserve love but you haven't found somebody who can love you the way you love maybe you are way too honest okay maybe you are that person who believes in a happily ever after you are not into the hookup culture and you're very rare pile number two you're very very rare and your spirit baby wants you to value yourself because you don't deserve to settle for less you deserve a match and when that match is there it will present itself you don't need to chase anybody pile number two that's what your spirit baby wants you to know okay your spirit baby also wants you to forgive yourself i mean maybe you are that person who's very gentle i don't know again and again i'm getting this message that you know you're very gentle and liberal with others but when you make a mistake when you are not able to kind of accomplish all your goals or you are not able to meet deadlines you beat yourself up you're very harsh you're very harsh with yourself and your spirit baby wants you to learn this art of forgiving not just others but yourself as well if there is some kind of pain that you're holding inside let that out let it out that's completely fine and if the person that you're watching this reading for has hurt you in some way your spirit baby wants you to forgive that person also because maybe they have their reasons all right which your baby is not revealing right here but your baby wants you to just lead your life with love but choose self love as your priority because this is what needs to be your priority at this point of time okay so now let's just get into the channeled messages so for your channeled messages we have sagittarius season i will knock at your door for the first time okay then we have you are welcoming twins in your life all right then we have whenever you see a rainbow know that mama daddy is on the way and so am i i will be a quick pregnancy lol i love you then we have mama daddy i will have green blue eyes i am still choosing which one i'd look better in okay so there are chances that if you're having twins then one might have green eyes and the other might have blue eyes all right this could be a possibility okay then the last message we have is mama daddy oh it's like your person so your baby is telling you from the perspective of your person that your person loves the color black on you and blue and red and yellow oh my god you're their rainbow all right now 
over here i told you right just a couple of minutes back i told you that you should add more colors to your life and this is the same message that your baby is kind of giving you we've got rainbow twice over here we've got whenever you see a rainbow right over here your baby is saying you are their rainbow so rainbows and to me this somewhere down the line is also representing a rainbow i don't know why so i just feel that rainbows are very significant for you pile number 2 so whenever you see a rainbow in your dreams or just in a book while scrolling or just anywhere for real also take that as a sign that both your baby or babies along with your person is on the way and there is going to be a blissful union that's going to happen and yeah that's i mean your baby too wants you to play with colors i think colors are going to have a lot of impact on your mood pile number 2 that is why again and again you're being asked to play with colors so you can play with colors even when it comes to your bed sheets your curtains you know just try adding colors as much as you can to your everyday life because it is going to help you in kind of maintaining your high vibes you're a very high vibrational person let me tell you that is another reason that you are kind of very affected by the energies is because you're very receptive all right and additional last message that i would like to give you pile number 2 is that you're very psychic and you should use your psychic gifts more often you'll go very far in life all right so yeah that's what i have for you pile number 2 if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pile number 3 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out as to what does your spirit baby or babies want to say to you these are the channeled messages and i'm going to take them in the end so for you we have the empress oh <laughs> then we have the king of cups alone time all right and this is now is the time for deep emotional healing okay So pile number 3 firstly whosoever you're watching this reading for there is distance in this connection and the distance can be emotional also because i feel that your person is very secretive when it comes to their feelings now starting with what your spirit baby wants to say to you your spirit baby wants to tell you that for your person you are the end game okay you are the person that your person wants to settle down with your spirit baby is saying that your person wants to marry you let me be very very clear but you are dealing with a person who is very scared of being vulnerable for whom expressing their feelings and emotions is something which is very difficult maybe because their feelings have not been reciprocated in the past so it's very difficult for your person to kind of face another rejection this is point number 1 Point number 2 is that your person feels that you are above them in some shape way or form this person feels that you are above them and they got to match up to your level for that they are going to do anything so if this person is not talking to you at this point of time if there is any kind of distance physical emotional whatever it is because this 
person is feeling inferior it's because this person has kind of put you on a pedestal they know that you deserve the best and they want to give you the world if it was in their hands okay so your spirit baby wants you to know that they love you a lot they love you a lot they might not express anything on the outside i mean this person might have a resting bee face to be very honest i don't know why this person might not have even given you a hint pile number 3 okay you might be dealing with somebody who's very who's very to themselves it is very difficult to read them okay because this person knows how to mask their feelings this person is an expert this person is a champion at hiding their true emotions at hiding their true feelings okay but when you kind of dive deep into their heart oh my god this person is as soft as a marshmallow this person is so gullible they're so cute and i'm using the word gullible in a very cute way it is not in a manipulative way at all this person is a baby on the inside but for you to see that part but for you to reach that zone it's going to take time because your person has trust issues because your person has faced a lot of backlash for being so emotional they might have been they might have been mocked okay for being so emotional for being so sensitive for being so expressive for being so emotional if at all you are watching this reading for a man then this man is not like the regular men that you deal with this man is actually a proper divine masculine who is aware of his emotions who is aware of his feelings okay who is very i mean ha huh, how do i put it this is a beautiful person that you are dealing with pile number 3 but the only problem this person has is that they have trust issues they have some healing to do okay not some a lot of healing to do very honestly this person has a blocked heart chakra this person has not been able to come out of their past not in the sense that they are missing their ex but it's in the sense that the way people have backstabbed your person your person has not been able to come out of that pain so they've become very cautious in their life whenever kind of somebody enters that zone where that person is trying to come close to them your person shuts off because it scares the hell out of them but when it comes to you you are being represented by the empress regardless of your gender it's all about the energy spiral number 3 so you are being represented by the empress you are the first person who has kind of managed to see their depth even when they were trying to hide that from you you see through this person all right you see through this person like i can't even put it to words as to how well you read them and this person knows So firstly they are intimidated because i mean your baby is also laughing at this point of time because your baby wants you to know that you can read this person like i mean like it's it's just so easy for you it comes naturally to you maybe you have psychic gifts maybe you're a tarot reader or maybe you are generally very intuitive okay and you pick up on their energies you pick up on what they are feeling what they are thinking or you might have kind of told this person something that has shook their world that i did not tell this person xyz about my life and there is this empress who knows who am i for real now i mean now they know every single thing about me so this person is kind of very scared 
because they know that you know them all right so they are intimidated by the fact that you can understand that they have feelings for you but they don't want to admit that they have feelings for you because this person also has ego issues this person has other issues left for them to cater to at this point of time okay but they really love you a lot this person really really loves you a lot and this person might have put you through an emotional roller coaster you might have been very emotional in the past few days you might have cried also a couple of times or you might have felt very overwhelmed there are two reasons for that a you're picking up on this person's energies b it is because this person is triggering something in you that needs to heal okay what your spirit baby wants you to know that right now the distance that is there between the both of you is something that is the need of the hour because you both need to spend alone time you both need to spend that time in your own energy for you to ground yourself because you both are ungrounded at this point of time you are thinking about this person this person is thinking about you this person is also thinking about how much they got to do when it comes to their financial stability because you are stable in your life you have your life figured out in the eyes of your person you are you are it you are the person you are the god the goddess i mean they see you in very 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 high regards okay and they want to match up to you they want to be your emperor let me be very honest this person wants to match up to you and they are kind of guilty also for putting you through this emotional roller coaster because they know that you are sensitive they know that you are emotional but they cannot do anything about it because they want to provide you with something you bring everything to the table what will they bring is what they are asking themselves and in this period of no communication or separation your person is kind of figuring out as to how can they level up and match up to you so that you both can become that it couple you both can become the power couple together and i think somewhere down the line your person also understands you and your spirit baby want you to know to have faith in the universe because whatever is happening whatever distance is there whatever miscommunication no communication i mean whatever is happening in this connection especially how you're getting triggered emotionally is for a reason okay and you cannot force this you cannot stop this you cannot avoid this you have to face this so stop running away from your feelings stop running away from crying stop running away from acknowledging that even you need a breather okay even though this person looks at you in a way that your life is sorted emotionally there are certain wounds that even you need to heal pile number 3 and that is why your spirit baby over here is telling you that this is the perfect time for deep emotional healing because your person is also doing the same so you got to kind of get rid of whatever is left in your energy field for the major part you have done a lot of healing you're far ahead in your healing journey you might yourself be a professional healer okay pile number 3 but then we are all always healing okay it's a process it's an ongoing process receptivity is what kind of makes a difference you are receptive but when it comes to your person you are running away from feeling the pain of not being able to be with this person and your spirit baby wants you to process this pain because there is a need for you to understand that with or without this person you are still powerful okay do not become codependent do not go in that zone 
that this person ends up deciding how worthy you are you are worthy with or without this person you have invested so much of time effort energy love affection care when it comes to you coming out of your mess do not spoil that for this person give them the space that they need to kind of process their feelings to sort out their career their life and you just focus on your career and your self love journey when the time is right this person will come back to you but right now the distance is necessary it is necessary for your peace of mind forget this person it is necessary for your peace of mind you're being protected over your by your spirit baby if this distance is created it is created on purpose accept it acknowledge it accept it and just pour your love into yourself into your craft into whatever you do for a living take care of yourself that is very important right now okay now coming to your channeled messages we have we have it's really mama daddy it's really okay to cry don't hold yourself back cry your heart out you'll feel better i promise see i told you pile number 3 we have water over here we have cups over here we have water over here we have a little bit of water over here also there is so much of water over here plus the energy the emotions everything is just feeling as if you are feeling very overwhelmed and your spirit baby is telling you that it's okay to cry because maybe the tears that you're crying right now are not because of this person but they are because of whatever you've been through in your past okay so your past heartbreak you can say or however or however people have treated you in the past there is a wound deep inside pile number 3 that needs some tlc and you got to be gentle with yourself so do not numb yourself if you are getting the urge to cry cry your heart out you will feel better you will feel lighter okay then we have mama daddy okay so whatever whosoever you're watching for so your baby is saying that your person is talking you from a fake account keeping tabs on you because there is love in this connection see i told you there is love definitely there's love in this connection your person loves you but then this distance is equally important have faith your baby is saying can you please clear your energy i'm trying to talk to you but you are blocked yes cry you sage clear your energy field do whatever you can take salt baths okay ground your energy spile number 3 you need grounding at this point of time because you've been overthinking about this person okay this person is messing with your brain this person is troubling you but you got to and you're absorbing this person's energies also all right there was mirroring in pile number 1 and i think there is mirroring in pile number 3 also where you and your person you're both picking up on each other's energies and you're feeling overwhelmed because you both want to be with each other but you both don't know how to be with each other okay but anyway right now it's important for you to clear your energy field pile number 3 then your baby is saying i love to be in nature i am going to be a water baby a pisces ah I'm a Pisces. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> so this is what your baby is saying, pile number three, that they're gonna love water, and we already have so much of water over here. Any which way, your baby is going to love water. That is why there's so much of water. Nice. Then we have the last message, where your baby is saying, my features will be more like daddy, but my heart will be a ditto copy of yours. Love your boy. All right, so there are very high chances that you're going to have a baby boy, and your baby boy over here 
is telling you that they are going to have a heart like yours and you are such a beautiful soul by number three I already told you're such a warm person and I think even your person whosoever you're watching this reading for has a beautiful heart I am not gonna lie I'm not biased towards your person but I just feel that your person and you you both are very misunderstood people okay you're very misunderstood as people for that matter and yeah, there is mirroring for sure in this pile also. And that's what I have for you, yeah, pile number three. If you liked our reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so that whenever I post next, you get notified. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that via Instagram and email. The details for both is in my description box below. I'll catch up with you in the next reading. See ya.